Hi, my name is Janelle McClarty and I'm from EncoreWebsites.com. We'll be bringing you a brief tutorial that some of my clients always ask me. Um, I'm a web designer and a graphic designer from Toronto, Canada. And one of the most commonly asked questions is how do I find out if my domain name is available. How do I search that? So I want to help a lot of you guys out there who just want to know what we do on the back end to figure out if a domain name for your business or for your website is available. So first of all, you can use um, any domain register site. So one of the most popular sites out there is godaddy.com and this is how GoDaddy looks. Um, so this section right here where you type in your domain name that you're looking for is it will basically tell you if the domain is available so it's very easy so um, a customer came up to me yesterday and he wanted to know if his contracting company if the domain name was available he was freaking out he doesn't want anyone to take it from him he wants to get it right away so I'm like okay you know what while we're on the phone let me just check really quickly and I'll get it for you so we're gonna do a test domain I'll do my name so I'll do JanelleMcClarty.com it should be available yes it is available hopefully none of you take it but JanelleMcClarty.com and .ca is available. Um, let's do something less common so we can see, well, sorry, more common so we can see obviously YouTube.com is taken, but look at all these that aren't taken, that have the prefix of YouTube. So we have YouTube.review, it's $400. We have YouTubePro.ca, it's 299 youtubeonline.ca 299 so it's like a lot of people go on this and purchase domains and then they resell them because who knows if let's say down the line someone takes this domain name and it's really big it's just like buying the all the i domains like iCloud and iMac and anything Apple related those are probably all taken or worth thousands of dollars Obviously, Apple.com is taken, but Apple.host is $17,000 to purchase. So, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Domain names go from really, really cheap to super expensive. Like, this would be really cheap, I'm pretty sure. Oh, $60. Let's see. Oh, $1,000 for 123.xyz. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do something random that's going to show you like a really cheap price. Okay, so yeah, $2.99, that's like the cheapest you'll see. $0.99 cents is definitely the cheapest you'll see for just something very random that you just want to use to just show maybe a portfolio or something just random. You're not really using it for promotional purposes. So basically, if you're looking for something for your company, Tom's contracting, you'll put it in, you'll see that it's already taken, and then you will f try to find something similar that's not taking, like Tom's contracting.ca. Same thing if you're looking at um, Henry's t shirts. It's available. So, Henry's t shirts.com. Henry's t shirts.ca. So we list we just look at all the extensions that you would possibly want and in a lot of cases my clients want to purchase them all. You don't want to purchase Henry's t shirts.com and then leave .ca open for someone else to take just for two ninety nine and this is per year. So that is the rundown of how um, I would search if a domain name is available. Um, I use GoDaddy as I said and the process is pretty easy when you're ready to actually make the purchase 
um, just hold off and let your designer, whoever's designing your website, figure that out for you because as a designer, um, I don't know about the rest of the designers out there, but I get discounts for domains since I purchase, you can imagine, maybe even over a hundred I've purchased as well as hosting. So these two things are definitely needed in order to have your website um, live and online. So you're going to need web hosting and you're going to need your domain. Those are the top two things. And I get a discount on that. So if you are inquiring about a website um, or purchasing a domain or registering your domain, hold off on that. Just visit OnkerWebsites.com. Um, you can contact us, go to our contact page, fill out the little form, send us a message, or you can um, give me a quick call or text. My name is Janelle McClarty, once again from EncoreWebsites.com, Toronto's number one web design and marketing agency. Thanks for listening.